For practice at exercise 2.15 print design, we are told to write a method called print design that produces the following output. We need to use nested loops to capture the structure of this figure. First, we'll write our method. It's going to be public class print design, and it shall look like this. Now we need to have a for loop, and it's going to run for every single line. So in here we'll have um, for row for rows, and we'll have a for loop. We have five rows here, so we'll say int a is equal to zero, and a is going to run as long as it is less than five, and then we'll have a plus plus like this. In our for loop, we have to print out these dashes, we have to print out this number, and then we have to print out these dashes. So what we can do is first look at the dashes. So we can say four dashes here, and we will write a for loop for these dashes. Well, we have four and it starts at five, so we can say int b is equal to five, and then b has to be greater than a, because every time this these row it goes another row, the number of dashes gets smaller. So we'll have it as less than a, and then we'll have b minus minus, so that eventually this for loop will break. Then we'll close it up, and in here we'll just have a system dot out dot print statement where we print out the dash. And next we have to print out the number. For number, we can write this as our comment. And in here, we are going to see that on our first row, it prints out one, one time. The next row, it prints out three, three times. The next row it prints out five, five times, and so on. So, what we can do is make a temporary value, we can call this int temp, and set equal to one, and we're just going to print that out. So we'll say system.out.print, and then in here we'll have temp. And we can say int b is equal to zero. This is a totally different b than in here. Um, so b is just used in here as temporary values, temporary variables. The reason why we can't use a is because it's encased inside of here. If this loop was encased inside this one, it would not be able to use b. So b is equal to zero. And then next we'll have b will run as long as it is less than temp, like this. And what we can do is actually control temp. So we'll have b increment every single time, but after our for loop, we'll have temp um, add to itself by a factor of four, or by a factor of two. And it'll add by a factor of two because we go from one to three and the difference is two. Three to five, the difference is two, and so on and so forth. So temp is um, growing by two every single time. That way, the number outputted grows by a number of two, and so does the actual number. For the dashes, we can actually just copy this first part and paste it under the number part, because it's going to be the same thing, just on the opposite side. If we submit this, we can see that we have a couple of errors. So first thing that we're going to look at is the first row, um, we need to have a public, oh, it's a method. Okay, so instead of having a class here, um, which is incorrect, we need to write a method. So this needs to be public static void print design. And if we submit that, we can see that we didn't pass our test because it's all in one line. That means that after all of these loops execute, we need to go on to the next line. So basically after all of this code writes, it needs to go on to a new line. So we can say, we after all of our for loops, you can say for a new line, and we can just make a new line by saying system.out.print, and that statement, and then, actually this should be print line, because it wants to make a new line, and then submit it, and then we pass the tests. So to review this, basically what we're doing is we're making a for loop to go over all of the
the lines in our code. Since we have five lines, this is going to run five times. Next for the dashes, we have a for loop here, and it's going to repeat because we have dashes on the other side. But basically what it's saying is that since it starts at five, we're starting our int b equal to five. And every single time it goes to the next row, it loses one. That's why we has, it has to be greater than a, because a gains, it, it increments by one every single time. So that way we can use it as a comparison. Next with number, we have int b is equal to zero. As long as b is less than temp, this will execute. In our temp, we're setting it initially equal to one. This way we can um, print it out and then add two every single time. And then um, also add to output every single time. So this is the code that will give us this output right here.